who's just being an asshole. You are acting way too tall for your height right now, or you're talking to me like you're 6'5 right now. <laughs> I keep like dogging on the height thing, but like do men not shit on us for like our weight, our looks, like literally 24-7? Bye, shoot. This is something that I've definitely, definitely noticed. I'm just gonna say it about women. Right now, this is a woman thing. I don't often like to make it men versus women. This is something I noticed about women. When women get so out of pocket and say shit where they just start straight up body shaming men and just straight up doing the things that they have been begging people to stop doing them. As soon as they're called out on it, they cannot give any other excuse, validation, or reason for it beyond, well, they do it to us. You will never hear them have another reasoning for it. That's the only thing they have. She's already prefaced it by telling us delusional, so we can't be mad at her when she acts delusional because she already told us she was gonna act that way. But it is delusional. It is delusional to be like, God, I hate being body shamed. I hate being made fun of for being fat. I hate be feeling like I'm not pretty enough. This is literally ruining women's lives and giving us eating disorders and making us so miserable. But I'm gonna do it to men because they did it to us first. You should recognize this as having been raised by a therapist is that this is called the cycle of abuse. You are perpetuating the cycle of abuse. And what that means is that you're perpetuating that against other women. You don't get to just be abusive and demonstrate the same cyclical abusive patterns, but because it's only at men, the only negative outcomes will be for men. That's not how it works. The domino plays out and women get knocked down with it. Good Lord. Shoe inserts. I don't know what to tell you. This will definitely bother him though, like 100%. I, I like the second one a lot. The next one was like a top comment on, I think, my last video and it just made me giggle. Your perfume smells so sweet. This is gonna irk them for two reasons. Number one, the feminine verbiage again of saying that it smells sweet. Number two, they're gonna- Regina George, are you proud that you are the high school mean girl? This is the stereotypical girl, like almost single-handedly ruined so many people from a young age. Here she is. I correct you immediately and be like, perfume? I wear cologne. This one is you look like you would be allergic to peanuts. <laughs> I feel like this goes along with like the water shoes one. I you look like you would be allergic to peanuts? The galaxy brained insults that the most genius female brains of the world have managed to come up with is shaming people for deadly allergies. Come on, man. I did. Also telling them that they look like they would have had like the rolling like book bags in like high school would like also be funny. This next. Wait, what was wrong with, what's wrong with the rolling book bags? That's, you just described luggages. Do you think that everyone in an airport is a loser? <laughs> Why is she so dumb? This one is by far one of my favorites. Casually remind them that they can get Botox or PRP to help stimulate hair growth and help their hairline. Easy comeback. How do you know that? Why do you know that? Is that why you're getting Botox? You're just telling on yourself here. I, you think this is silly. But I would have never known that if you didn't tell me that. Now I have to wonder why you know that. And you've just revealed that you're the type of person who is going to be a $300 every three months detriment to the family finances. This is another one that just needs to kind of be done randomly, just like a straight up verbal attack. They will think about this for at least eight business days. The last one for today is kind of situational, like it's very specific. So let's say that you were like in a situationship and then the talk of a relationship comes up and he says the phrase, oh, like I'm not really looking to be in a relationship right now. Jackpot. You're going to uno flip and reverse his ass, okay? You're going to say, oh. I already know what she's going to say. I already know what she's going to say because she what she's just described is, you're going to wait until you're about to be rejected, and this is when you get mean. Ma'am, you think you're a 10, but you're describing incel behavior. This is what incels do, is they compliment, they compliment, they want to be with the person right up until the point that they're about to be rejected, and then it's, oh, well, you were fat anyway. That's what you're about to say. Watch her say it.
I don't oh, have I know. to. I definitely am, but I just, like, don't see you in that way, so, like, don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, you're so clever. No one saw that coming. You're the first one to think about it, except, oh, wait, you're not. You're playing by the incel handbook. I'm sorry, but, like, whatever, I wasn't interested anyway is not a hot girl take at all all that's actually the lowest common denominator comeback that a bitch can come up with this is just one of those that's like very humbling because he's gonna be like wait like she doesn't see me in like a relationship way like she just wants to like talk to me and flirt with me like why am i not like relationship material like they do this shit to us like this is just funny okay i see it i see it she just completely gave herself away at the end she has been rejected so much that what she's doing right now is writing a fan fiction where she's the one rejecting guys. This is so much more sad than I thought it was originally. She's so lonely. <laughs> she's so lonely and hurt. That's what's happening here. Aww, she doesn't get the chance she wants, does she, boys? Aww, poor baby. She's throwing a tamper tantrum because her sister got invited to Chuck E. Cheese and she has to stay home. That's what's happening here. This is not witty female banter. This is some copium overdosing. Oh, no. I always say, those are some big words for a small boy. Yep, I bet you always say that. I bet you definitely just always say that. Like, how often are you guys getting into these contentious confrontations with men? And if so, why are you the problem? <laughs> if he likes to work out, say, it seems like you haven't been working out lately. They get all mad and defensive. Ha ha ha, aren't I being so clever and tricking him by insulting him and then making him feel insulted? Isn't it such a strategy that I've managed to make someone feel insulted by insulting them? We are so clever, girlies. The Peanuts one ruined a year-long friendship. That, that's a brag to you? You lost a friend because you were being an asshole. Congrats! <laughs> what? That's... Don't... Don't do lesbian therapists like that. Don't. Stop. They're not all like that. LMAO, my 16-year-old daughter likes to tell her boyfriend... Looks like you're having big feelings right now. Mm, God damn it. Don't, how much do you want to bet that the 16 year old's being raised by a single mom? It's a trope uh, that bitter single moms will raise their daughters to be so shitty to men sometimes. It's a trope. You're living the trope. Great. Love that for that poor 16 year old boy who is just learning how to date for the first time and is getting this as his exposure to what might be normal for what is to come. I love that, great. You look easy to draw is one of my all time favorite things. Hmm, okay. What do I say to him if he's short in height and length? Literally just say that alone. I don't know, what do I say to a woman who's fat and ugly? I, <laughs> I don't know, man. I just have a feeling like if I were to make a video saying, hey guys, here's what to say to women who are both shitty and ugly. Here's how to play on their immutable, unchangeable genetic characteristics that will make them deeply insecure for the rest of their lives. And it's justifiable because they did something that I didn't like, which so far from the context, the worst thing that the man has done via the context she's provided is express to her that he's not interested in dating her. And apparently that in and of itself is enough to crucify him mentally and emotionally. That 
makes him a bad man. Add that to the list of things men can't do. Reject women. Actually, rejecting women is like at the top of the list of things men can't do, I think. I think that there are very few things that a man can do less than reject a woman. It goes, okay, so things men can't do. I know hobbies is up there. Hobbies is really high up there. Um, but definitely rejecting women, not finding a woman attractive is probably number two. Hobbies is probably three, but it goes things men can't do, rejecting women, not finding any woman attractive um, unless you're in a relationship. And then, then it becomes way more nuanced and complicated. Then you start entering like a pie chart and it goes like, well, is the celebrity about to be someone that she compares her own attraction level to? Because it may be something like, do you find Heidi Klum attractive? But it's because she thinks she looks like Heidi Klum. You also have to read her mind and know that it's because she thinks she looks like Heidi Klum. Because if she thinks she looks like Heidi Klum, you have to say yes. Otherwise, you're saying that she's not attractive because she thinks she looks like Heidi Klum. But if she doesn't think she looks like Heidi Klum, you got to figure this out ahead of time. You can't ask on the spot. That's illegal. If she doesn't think she looks like Heidi Klum, then you have to say that Heidi Klum is unattractive because you're dating her. Does that make sense? I hope that we've all learned a lot about the best ways to treat people.